You're doing well, people. I know it's been tough, but we're starting to turn the tide. Nanosoft are still putting up a hell of a fight, but we've now pushed their forces back to their corporate dome. Our first objective is to set up a forward base, as close to Nanosoft's dome as possible. Using this position to reduce mission times, you'll fly multiple sorties to recapture the GP precinct inside the dome. Once this position is secured, the next objective will be to take out all of Nanosoft's communications. When these go down, their forces will be in a state of confusion, hopefully even panic. That's when we'll make our big push. Some of you will be using the new XAG-90 Venom on these missions. This bird is the wrath of God in the right hands. But remember, all the bugs haven't been ironed out yet. So don't get cocky out there. Nanosoft may be on the defensive, but they're certainly not beaten yet. Mission briefings are tomorrow at 0400 hours. Good luck out there. Dismissed. It has been confirmed that Nanosoft are planning a major offensive. It is imperative that G-Police stop this aggression at source. This will entail entering the Nanosoft complex and hitting them hard. The complex consists of outer domes and the core inner domes. Both G-Police precincts inside the domes have been captured. We currently have an armored column and communications truck ready to set up a temporary command post in the outer domes. Slater and Ricardo will have to perform a reconnaissance on the outer domes entrance points. We'll then know the best entrance to attack from. Unfortunately, the tunnels have been secured, so the power nodes controlling security will have to be destroyed. This should allow us limited time to move our ground units in so we can hardwire the security from inside. After the reconnaissance is complete, Slater will provide air support for the convoy. We also have news that may please some of you. As you may be aware, our tech departments have been developing a number of modifications to the basic Havoc model. Considering the current situation, the release of all technical advances has been authorized. All group leaders will be issued with a prototype Venom craft. This benefits from improved maneuverability, higher top speed, and increased weaponry capabilities. Ground Team Epsilon reporting. We're standing by. Over.
Disabled. Entrance to Soraka Dome clear. Over.
Control to Alpha Wing. You have three Nanosoft hostiles in your vicinity. Over. Control to Alpha Wing. Clear the area of all Nanosoft units. Over. for Ground Team Epsilon. Over. Ground Team Epsilon reporting. We're on our way. Over. Control to Alpha Wing. Escort G Police Convoy. Over. Wing. You have three Nanosoft Airborne on an intercept vector. Over. Control to Alpha Wing. You have two Nanosoft bombers incoming. Over.
Bravo Epsilon reporting. We are in position. Over. Soraka Dome entrance area has been secured. We have successfully established a command post, but we have no real idea of Nanosoft's military strength in these domes. Further intelligence gathering is essential before we can begin any offensive. 